You what's good, TDK Nation? We are back for another video. Today we're gonna be breaking down week zero of the college football season. Technically, not really, because week zero isn't an official week. So what uh, we're gonna be breaking down the games from tomorrow, which is Sunday, until I mean tomorrow, which is Saturday, until um, Friday next week, which is like beginning of week one, uh, like the actual week one, not week zero. So you know we're gonna start on that today. Uh, we're gonna work on we're gonna work on discussing who we're gonna predict for the games until uh, Friday and on Friday next week y'all gonna get another video just like this on me breaking down week one like actual games. So we are gonna start it off without further ado. Boise State UCF mid major matchup. Um, yeah, so UCF we already know that they claim they won a national championship and everything, but everybody might might have forgot about Boise. You better not have forgotten about Boise because they was like that a few years ago. You remember the uh, Statue of Liberty when they beat Oklahoma in the Fiesta Bowl? And they've been good still recently. Like, they've always been competitive. They've always been one of the top group of five teams. Um, haven't been, like, top ten or anything, but, like, they've still been really good and competitive. So we're going to see if they're going to be able to um, compete with UCF, who always got a lot of talent. My pick for this game is going to be UCF. I'm going to go with the Knights. Um... You know, I just, I, I know UCF is, they always have put talent on the field, and they're in Florida. It's harder to recruit in Idaho. So, you know, I'm going to go UCF on this game. Next game we're going to do, we're going to look at is Hawaii versus UCLA. Trust me, the matchups will get more exciting as the season goes on. It's only week zero, but Hawaii, UCLA, I'm going UCLA. Chip Kelly is going to be on a hot seat this year. He needs to win games. Hawaii early have to win it. DCR, my guy. QB1 for UCLA. Dorian Thompson Robinson, he's like that. Look for him to have 350 yards. Like, he can run, he can pass, and he's been known to go over 100 rushing yards wide and 300 passing yards. Puts up Tuz. He's like that. DTR is going to be elite. Um, watch, watch watch for him to make a lot of plays against Hawaii. Um, next game we're going to talk about is Ohio State, the Buckeyes versus Minnesota. Um, you know, I'm an Ohio State fan, but I ain't going to act like. Uh, Minnesota not a good team. And so they got Mo Ibrahim. He's going to be a Heisman candidate. Uh, he has a chance to make a Heisman moment if he can somehow lead them to a win over us, which they're not going to. This game is going to be on Thursday, uh, September 2nd. And CJ Stroud, CJ Stroud, Stroud, I don't know how to say his name. I think it's Stroud. Um, CJ Stroud debut uh, in a Buckeyes uniform. Uh, he looked good. Uh, I mean, not de debut, but like his first start. Because um, he, he played last year against Michigan State. He had a long touchdown run. Um... He's going to have a chance to prove that he can succeed Justin Fields, man. He's going to have a chance to make a lot of plays. Uh, Minnesota's defense isn't great right now, but they're still a Big Ten. They're still a power five defense. So you're going to have to uh, step up and make some plays, regardless if you could be in any power five team playing against another power five. So, you know, we're going to see if he can make enough plays. Um, I firmly expect Ohio State to win. And that's my prediction for this game. Um... Next game, UNC Virginia Tech in Blacksburg, and this is a potential upset. Potential upset. Blacksburg is a tough place to play. Sam Howell can make his opening act for the Heisman or the potential number one pick. I don't think that he's better than Spencer Rattler. I don't even think he's better than De'Ara King. We'll get into De'Ara King next week when we talk about um, his game. But I think that there's a lot of potential for um, there's a lot of potential for UNC to make a run this year. At a potential ACC championship, they're in the same division as Miami. It's gonna be tough, but they have a chance. Um, they did lose Deami Brown and Daz Newsom last year uh, to draft, so I think it's gonna be tough to replace those weapons. I mean, they're both uh, draft picks and they're both good, but you know, Howell is a really talented. He has a really talented arm, um, so we'll see what they can do uh, in Blacksburg. I am gonna go with UNC, but don't be surprised if it's an upset. And we're going to do this every week. We're going to go with the upset of the week. So the upset of week zero, in my opinion, I see South Dakota State, the FCS powerhouse, I guess, technically. Not really. They didn't win the championship. South Dakota State uh, is going to Colorado State. I think they can win. I think Colorado State's been struggling recently. Uh, haven't been playing at the same time that, you know, they have in the past. Now that they put out a lot of talent, but they have put out talent. Um, I expect it to be a close game, low scoring. If South Dakota State wants to win, they're going to have to keep a low scoring. And I think that they can do that. South Dakota State is known to be a great running football team. And uh, they they did produce Dallas Goddard, who obviously is the tight end on the Eagles right now. 
But I do expect it to be a good game. Um, low scoring. I'll probably go like 17-14, South Dakota State wins. Um, but if it gets, if the scoring gets too high, I don't think they can compete. Just your, your line's going to get tired. So that's my predictions. College football week zero. Like, comment, subscribe. We out of here. Yeah.